Hi guys, this is Maloonchip and welcome back to Conan Exiles. So I think we left off somewhere here last time. Yeah, yesterday I didn't really have a lot of time to record. Didn't we already do this place? So yeah, as I said in my, uh, well in the first episode, a buddy of mine kind of uh, told me that For Honor was uh, online now for free. So I was like, oh, I don't have really much time. And then, yeah, I saw the campaign mode and I was instantly sold. Uh, but yeah, Conan Exiles has to go on. Uh, it's still my, well, I guess now you can say main series. Because I am going to do the Four Honors. Even if it's not that many people that, well, already have four views and a like. So somebody already liked it. And like I said, in one of my very first episodes, and maybe later on as well, a couple times... As long as somebody likes it, I'm gonna keep recording. Like, uh, the day everybody gives me thumbs down is the day that I guess I could say that I'm not entertaining enough to uh, keep recording. <laughs> Something like that. So we found out the creator of Storms over there. What else haven't we seen yet? Because we're actually here looking for the map room. Uh, I do believe that we came from that side, that we did the Dawn of Gate, or was it from this side? That means over there. That's possible as well. No, right? Because I came down that staircase, found the gargoyle there, and then found... Uh, no, the, the rock nose there, and then the gargoyle there, and then we went down and we attuned. And then we basically went around... I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even know where I've been. Um, so yeah, gonna need to check over this place. I do believe that last time we were here, so we're gonna see if there's some entrances um, into this. Uh, well, one of one of the places that I'm overlooking apparently. Uh, I did went home, uh, as you can see, in my inventory. I got the basics on me uh, and a lot of healing this time, a little more than usual. Uh, I do have arrows on me, not using the bow because I did reset my. I don't know, I'm talking about it. Crap, I forgot to take a bow. Um, and I do have arrows on me, so that's useless weight. Uh, I did reset my attributes. Uh, basically, we were... Well, we're not using accuracy at all. Uh, we're barely uh, actually hitting. So I got Vitality to level 3, as always. The Fierce Vitality gained passive health. And then we got Strength also to level 3. Which eats light attack, you now do 10% inflicted damage. So I'm not sure if the light attacks haven't really looked at it yet. Because, well, this is the base, the first combat I'm doing today. Uh, so not really sure if the 25%, if we can affect with uh, light uh, strikes or if it's only heavy strikes. Um, and I did one point more into strike and encumbrance and grit. I basically have this for my gear. So I took uh, 10 points in into grit i apologize so yeah looking for entrances into this place uh, don't mind the corruption uh, as it's not as heavy as in the other places because that does look something we can go into right and here's an entrance as well where are we going into there the archives okay so <laughs> I'm having a faintest idea that I uh, basically find a map room. Isn't isn't it like archives is, is a place where you keep a lot of books? Well, maybe it's 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 a library archive. But I I, I do believe that well, we gotta we gotta we gotta cheat because we came from that staircase, right? Yeah, we came the staircase down, so there was nothing here. And then we did we cross the bridge. Can't really remember. Maybe we should check it out later. Make sure that we explored everything. Any hostiles in here? Apparently not. Still gaining corruption and very hot. No chests. Can I cool down a little bit? Do I drink some? Oh, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> I was expecting to be like 15 minutes of exploration before I found anything. Some scrolls on the ground. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Can actually. So what can I do at this map room? Oh, it's an actual. Oh, it's the actual map map. And then the new barrier. Oh, it actually goes all the way. So you can go into the volcano. 
Okay, nice. And then the barriers. Yeah, we walked all the the entire mountain edge. Uh, we walked this entire mountain. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This is really cool. And then the plains over here, I presume. Yeah. Can't see the uh, roads on the map pretty well. And we know there are roads on the map, right? Yeah, broken highway, broken highway, the broken highways. Can't really see them. Or am I looking wrong? Is it this? Is it is it over here? Yeah, it's over here because here are no no pillars. So it doesn't make sense. Ah, okay, this is the big bridge. I was thinking like, is this the bridge we built over? No, no, because my bridges go from where? Where is it? My bridges go over from here. I should put the saw away. Scroll down. Yeah, right, because one of our bridges goes there, and then one bridge goes there, and then the other bridge goes goes there. Uh, too bad the map doesn't... Well, this is uh, an, well not an old map, I presume. Looks really cool. So, a door. Nothing to do here. I guess we uh, talk to this fellow here. This ghost-like dude, the archivist. Do not be afraid, bonded one. Learn I religion? Whisper of what once was. Before the fall, when this kingdom raised knighted pillars of black stone to the sky, I was called the archivist. Okay, and Return, just when tell me of the things you have seen. Oh, okay. Was it actually the intention that I returned later? Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet, human? There's only one chance, and a very slim one at that. You must assemble the items of power that were present at its creation. Oh, more the talk of endgame? Of the giant kings, the mask of the witch queen, the tears of two races, the star of the champion, the heart of the sands, the shining trapezohedron, and the A trapezohedron? I do not believe you put me on an impossible task. The diadem of the giant kings was once worn upon the brow of the priest king. He fell in battle with Tyros, the Deathbringer, in the battlefields of the north. More than that, I cannot say. A diadem. The king was You're the saying more. And most volatile among us. I fear his downfall will not have been a simple matter. A diadem, isn't that like a bracelet to, that women wear to keep their hair back? Well, it might have been possible this king was female. The witch queen of Lemuria was our great enemy in the dying days of... Ah, we, we know where she is. People came to us as refugees. But even as they took our succor, they plotted our downfall. She was present at the creation of the bracelet, lending her power to ours. Her fate is unknown to me. But known to she me. She always ruled from her city in the swamp to the east. So it is possible that after talking, and this is just presumption, of course, um, it is possible that after talking to these to this guy, that the other uh, is he talking about? Well, now I'm kind of doubting if he's talking about the other priests, because all the other priests kind of had a well, no, because. One was uh, was not the king of the north because the king of the north took his voice away, and we know well they work for the gods. But he's talking about regular. I'm I'm not sure. I'm thinking out loud again. Were simple to obtain when we performed the ritual. We simply took our tears and combined them. But who is left to weep for both races? Although tales persist of Tyros the Deathbringer. He was born of both races. Our Dude, blood the blood mingled with theirs. Damn, I'm gonna need to write down these names because these are people I'm gonna need to look forward to. Are these drops from certain... Hmm. The star of the champion lies buried beneath the sands of the arena in the east. Ah, <laughs> the arena. Remember well the day that Tyros killed the mighty dragon. He wept. Noble, my ass. 
far as I know, there it remains. We've been there. We, we've not found anything, right? That resembles... We found... What, what did we find? We found the seeds. We found... What else did we find, guys? Um, well, the seeds, a lot of dead people, and something to read, but I can't really remember what it was. The heart of the sands, or simply the scourge stone, was an artifact of power. The priest king used it to create a weapon, the sandstorm, that he swore would be our salvation. He gave it to the warmaker to unleash upon our enemies. As far as I know, it was destroyed in the attempt. But perhaps the Warmaker has more insight. Okay, I think we're, go we're going back to the dude we talked to, uh, not yesterday, but the day before. Because he, if we want to know if, if they actually have anything different to say, that, well, not I, can't, I completely can't remember what he was saying. But if, if we, we want to know if he actually has something different to say or actually has something to give us now, or point us in another direction, then... The Serpent Ring of Set. It was our most powerful artifact. It was kept in a tomb beneath this city. And then one day, a human came. Yeah, the priest of Seth. all the words and signs of power. Yeah, exactly, the sorcerer. Through every ward and trap we had put in place. He Indiana Jones. Ring of Set. <laughs> it was Indiana Jones. why you wear the bracelet. Wonder no more. It must have been this man who called himself... Doth Amon. Yeah, that's the Seth uh, the priest. Artifacts. You will not recover the Serpent's Ring of Set as long as you are trapped in this empire. Perhaps, perhaps it will be enough. The Serpent Sith? The Serpent Sith of Seth? What, what, am I pronouncing it right? Is actually outside the barrier? Okay, so, uh, again, what presumptions today? I'm really excited about this. Like, uh, never really imagined there to be... Well, I kind of remember thinking it's more sandbox. Like, it's build and enjoy. But never actually... Well, it's it's a complete game, right? So, there has to be an ending. But, as I see it now, you need to go beyond the border. Like, take everything, get your bracelet off, go beyond the border, and then get the Seth, and then actually come back in. Like, are you going to be free of your bonds and to choose whether you come in and out of the zone? And what's the exterior zone like? And all these thoughts in my head. When you have the artifacts, you must place them on the receptacle north of here. Receptacle? Once you have filled this vessel with the artifacts of power, it will create a keystone. To remove your bracelet, all that is required is to touch it with the keystone. Okay, this is this is this is actually end gear, end game. But freedom will mean giving up all that these lands. Have See, to our and now he says it, but it also said that we need to get the serpents, uh, serpent, uh, something, something uh, of Seth outside. How did I die? Yes. I was betrayed by your kind. Why are you helping me then? It's called the Circle of Swords. Ah, okay. She had promised peace. I was cut down. My bones were left to rot in the wind. Ah, okay, okay. My spirit has always belonged to the archives. And so, I am here. And here, I shall remain. It, that's a good thing, because I need to talk to you. Learn religion cartographer, learn cartographer. Have you come to seek a way free of the Okay, and that's a start. The archivist. All right, so did we learn something now? Oh, the cartographer. Corrupted chunk of stone pulsing with corruption. Is this gonna save us from corruption? Crafted the fireball cauldron. Map room. Handcrafted. Map? What do we need for the map room? Corrupt, corrupted stones, iron reinforcements, alchemical base. Hmm. We looked at that when previous one ep episode as well, right? How we made a wasn't that with gold and crystal? This is not a problem. This is not a problem. I have those in home. Uh, the corrupted stones. 
Oh, well, first we're gonna talk to the other guy because apparently he would. Where, where's the exit? Where, where, where's the exit? Uh, guys, the exit. Oh, okay, okay, it's over here. So I'm gonna run towards the other dude, the other uh, ghost that, uh, well, the creator of storms, I call him. All right, so it's not a dead guy, he's still alive. And. I smell you, human. The stench of your car. Ashes and dust, human. When the world was shattered, your people came to us as refugees. He doesn't have another option. We were generous. We gave them the wild north. They built a city there amongst them. You see that you wear the bracelet, human. When the war between our peoples began, we created such to bend the prisoners of war to our bidding. My kind are long lived, and slaves will publish our numbers. And as we dwindle in the war, we increase the war game. His head is following me. But that was an eon ago. To what purpose they have now been attuned, I cannot say. Leave me alone, human. I was one of the triumvirate that ruled this land. The archivist concerned himself primarily with the collection of knowledge. And the priest king had dominion over our spirits and the rituals of our faith. My people called me the war maker. For it was my duty to keep them safe. And for I know. I did my duty. I know. I held the northern passages again. It's inside here. There was a box that was closed, locked, remember? And there was a box at the uh, circle of swords as well that we couldn't open. They're in locked boxes that we cannot open. I guess until now. Burn and kill. But we need... Didn't we need a key to unlock this one? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in, real quick. Hope I'm not gonna die to the snake. But this is uh, this is exciting. Yeah, this is this is stuff I like. Like, it intrigues me, makes me think about how stuff can happen, will happen in this game. Ah, there's the snake again. Uh, kill the skeletons, pull the snake, run in, check if the box is locked. Okay, light attacks, so we can see if we actually do... Yeah, we do. So, we get the 25% increased damage on our 10% from the light attacks. So now I actually need to check how much it takes by light attacks only, and by heavy attacks only to kill one. Dude, are you gonna pull on trigger on me before the snake does? Crap. Okay, the snake is no longer... Here she comes. Let's pull her on. Come on, come on. Go around. That's good. Come here. Okay, go, 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 go. Before it feels dry. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Open. I, I, I can open it. I can open it. No. Ah, oh, the snake's gonna. Oh, he's still there. Come on. Stupid skeleton. Leave me alone. I'm feeling the snake's gonna be right back. Come on. Open. Must have a key to open this. Yeah, must have a key to open it. And that's probably gonna be in the snake. So, no, leave me alone. We have a map room to build and to figure out what it actually does. Because, come, what I can understand is that. He said they uh, want use the bracelets to transport people across the land really fast. So I presume it's some um, sort of teleporter. Um, so I'm going to check around uh, here a little bit. Uh, I, I still want to check out this part here, this part. I do believe we found everything here. And we came in through here and then went through here. Yeah. So I'm going to check around a little bit. If I find something, I'll bring you guys back. If not, you'll probably see me at home trying to figure out how we can make that alchemy base. The aviary. Okay, we still found something. There's a box here. Big place. Something that's going to talk to me. I think a pillar. How many hits was that? So seven hits. 
Yeah, because Dryden the tree from the last one. Slave, if you have been chosen to work the aviary, be wary. <laughs> Sacrifice pits? The aviary allows us to rule our empire, carrying the decrees of the triumvirate across the land. Our beasts feed themselves as they travel, and they are intelligent enough to never lose their way. Like you, bonded one. They make excellent servants. Oh, there's, ah, there's gargoyles. It would have been really cool if by his voice, like the gargoyles or the, the ones that transport, they would just fly in and attack you. Would be a really nice system. But it's not. We did see them. This has to be something, right? It's a dead end. It's gonna be sad. And there's a whole lot of dragons behind me right now. Come on, don't interrupt me before I regen. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it's only one. Yeah, I think I had seven-ish behind me. Uh, kind of sad. I thought this was going to be something else, like an entrance to a dungeon. But, yeah, that's going to be it for the city. It's getting dark as well. So, yeah, let's go home. So, first task, get rid of the corruption. That uh, should be... Oh, crap. Not like this. Oh, we can get rid of the corruption later. So, King Rocknose Head and the Bat Demon Head. Where are they? Uh, feats. And then decoration was it? Uh, mm -hmm, no. Scale back. No. Jungle. No. I'm Taxidermist. Mammoth. Highland. No. Exotic Game Hunter. That's gonna be it. So, King Rocknose. Scale back king head, skeleton serpent man, bat demon head, red dragon, green dragon. Okay, so the dragons, so we need a empty wall for these guys. Where do we have an empty wall? I think this one, right? Yeah, let's take this one. Uh, yeah, because there's benches in front of them. Perfect. A uh, big, ooh, they are pretty, pretty big. Uh, let's do, it's too low, right? Where did we hang the other one? Oh, we actually... Oh, yeah, we did the front on top like this. It's that. And how big are you, Bats Demon? Ah, uh, it's really petite. Oh, game froze for a second. And uh, I think we hung them... Something like this. Yeah, the King Rockno is really, really impressive. Uh, the bat Demon... Yeah, kind of ferocious, kind of ferocious. The teeth are awesome. Bat demon head. Wasn't it a king? Bat demon? Oh, no, there was only one bat. There were two rock noses. Yeah, that's that's how it was. So, yeah, now I think all the walls are at least filled that we have benches on. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's get rid of the corruption really quickly. Between our hundred dancers, well, not hundred, but you can hear him, right? Losing corruption and gone. Hey guys, hey guys, let me. Ooh, yeah, shake it up, shake it up. <laughs> oh, I love that room. I I do need to get more, even more. Let's take the fast way. Geronimo. Oh crap! <laughs> I actually didn't see the hole. Oh, oh perfect. Cat-like falling damage. Half your damage, or I, well, I wouldn't I wouldn't died, but it would have been close though. So fireball cauldrons are over here, and do we need to learn alchemical base, silver dust, gold dust, and ichor? Uh, let's see, right? We have some ichor, and this is level two, I think. Level two, and this one as well. Yeah, so let's put it in here. And then I do believe we can make some dust, but how many did we need feats? Uh, search map. No. 
of looking in the rank one map in here. So how many do we need? 75. Ooh, that's not sure how many dust we can get from the bars and from the gold coins that we have. Silver shouldn't be an issue right now. Let's take, well, this amount. Yeah, this is never gonna work. That should be enough, right? And the grinders are... Been a while. It's been a while. Grinders. Come on, over here. And uh, let's put this all in. So that's 38 total. And how much is this? It's not grinding the silver. Hmm. Let's put the silver in here. Yeah, it's not grinding it. Do I need to make... Ah, you need to make coins out of it. And now wait a second. The coins give... Uh, exactly the number but how many coins can we make from one bar because if three bars are three coins it's the same but if three bars are actually like six coins then the coins are already better let's see how many coins he actually makes six so one is five silver coins right yeah that's silver bar let's make Let's put them on again. And we should have 10 now. Yeah, 10 with one. So yeah, definitely need to craft up the silver coins. So silver coins give more dust than the actual uh, bars give. And what do we need? One for one. And we needed how many in total for the map? Map 75, right? Yeah, yeah, that's going to work. Okay, I'm gonna uh, create everything because we have 76 and we can get a way more uh, dust than we can get gold dust. So, this is actually perfect. I'm gonna uh, create everything. Corrupt stone. Stone, ichor, and demon blood. Oh, we can make 50 easier out of those. But I do believe a chunk of stone pulsing with corruption. If we keep this on ourselves, uh, which my, one is it making? What are you making, dude? Oh, witch powder? Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's good. That's no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, well, I'm gonna create the map room because it's not that hard anymore. The rest I can already have, I do believe, map. Yeah, corrupted stone I can easily make. That's not really that hard. And then the alchemy base I can make as well. So I'm gonna craft up one map room. Map room completed. Now we only need to find the one because it was a religion. The guys said it themselves, so basically... Uh, we have every tower filled now. That's really good news. You know, it does weigh a lot. Uh, it weighs 100. <laughs> uh, I still had my iron on me when I created it. And I was basically instantly overweight. So I was like, damn, this has to weigh a lot. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me go to the other side. Now I do hope that it fits on the platform. Else I'm kind of screwed. I don't think that I can, well maybe I can extend the platform one more, but I'm also thinking that it might actually not align properly with the platform uh, and that it would sink through the sides. Well, I don't hope it fits, sinks through the sides because that basically would mean that it's bigger than this. And it is bigger than this. Oh, holy hell, look at that. Where, how do we want to place it? Well, basically, we need to... Oh, it's overlapping. I cannot place it here. Oh, I can place it. Wait, wait, wait. If I place it here, I'm probably not going to be able to... It's probably going to stick out, right? I think this is the only spot we can actually place it a little bit. Something like this. Kind of want to align it a little bit different. We have one pillar here, one here. So we kind of want to have those at least something like this oh i think we had it the closest we could ever get it just a second ago i think this is it created a map room do you actually fall over oh you're inside oh perfect he's inside the border oh the map's lighting up enter map room okay so is the updated map no, it's not an updated map where we can see like our builds. 
That's really sad. Like, I really wanted to actually see where would our build be. Where is... We're over here, right? Oh, yeah, here's the big puddle. No, the big puddle has a bridge. Where is the broken bridge to the north? Hmm. Where's the broken bridge? Here's the trail. I think this is the where our map room is right now. I think that's the lake. So, right behind the lake, that's where we live. Ah, uh, would be super cool if the map actually would have. Yeah, because here is the little. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So, enter map room. Uh, can I enter map room? Interact, dismantle, return to inventory, cancel. Interact. And uh, what now? Interact. What's happening? Maybe one of the pillars? Oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh, it is! You need to touch the pillars? Now I do wonder if I can get back. Ah, but you instantly... Ah, so it's these pillars that you actually need to... Alright, so we have a new quest. Uh, alignment with all the pillars. Now, can I get back with this pillar? Obelisk already attuned. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's kind of... Well, that's like kind of sad. We discovered what the map room does. It's a teleporter all across the island. So... Yeah, I definitely need to check which ones I have and which ones are still open and then try to find those as well. Uh, we have a city uh, or a couple, couple, couple of towns to build still. We still have to find models. Uh, we are level 60, so we do have to uh, get the best, try to get the best gear in the game ready. Uh, we have a volcano to explore, so yeah, there's a still a lot to do, guys. Uh, but you can't blame me if, if, if I don't really have the time to record like today. Because um, it's now, I, I think, an hour and a half of footage that I have that I need to cut down. It's probably going to be 30 minutes around, something like that. Um, but yeah, and I also, well, yeah, I have uh, For Honor that I kind of want to record now as well. So it's possible that tomorrow might be dependent on how work goes. Uh, that tomorrow may be another For Honor video yeah, we still have a lot of videos here to go. So hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.